Hello, what's up ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? It's me, Lasty here. Welcome to Monday, welcome to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode 93, which means we are basically a week away from episode 100, which that time has just absolutely flown by. It's not even funny. Um, and of course, around that time, it's also going to be basically Christmas, Boxing Day, whatever it may be. That's gonna. That's when episode 100 is going to hit. So uh, I hope you're all doing well. If you are and you're feeling happy and festive and um, and you want to give back to my channel, do me a favor and just hit the thumbs up button. That's all you got to do. Um, and if you are new to my channel, of course, you could subscribe uh, so you can never miss the, the, the daily uploads of the RTG. So uh, I had this squad, well, I have this squad, and um, we're five and five in the weekend league, so it's not gone particularly brilliantly, has it? Now, I know it was a Friday gameplay, and, well, I just felt like maybe I should make some changes because it was Friday gameplay, and, you know, the rest of my games were going to get, get played on Sunday before the World Cup final. I'm actually filming this uh 23 minutes before the start of the world cup final so i need to get a move on because i don't want to miss that at all so i don't know who's going to win i just hope messi lifts that trophy um but it's going to be a very difficult task i can tell you that so i'm changing the team team of the tournament is here from friday night and some of the players are way cheaper than i thought they were going to be Fifty-six thousand coins for Guardiol with a shadow on him that's nuts 20k or so for, um, for this Guerrero, who I think looks really good. And actually, I think you could probably get away with playing him in midfield if you... Uh, I mean, I think you can start him as a left mid, actually. And that, that, that could work in people's midfield. So a new centre-back and a new left-back acquired. Marquez and Kera sold because obviously uh, Aguirre isn't going to get his upgrade. So I, I was holding Kera just in case Morocco won in the semi-final... Uh, in the third-place playoff, should I say. Um, but that's not going to happen. So I still have Aguirre, um And also, obviously, I have Orsic. So he's going to definitely get the upgrade now that Croatia won um, the third-place playoff. Uh, but we are going to adjust the team. And it does mean bringing out Enzo. But it was either start Enzo on zero chem and leave Benassar on the bench or start Benassar on three chem and bring Enzo on. Now, but in both scenarios, Enzo's on zero chem. But in one of the scenarios, both him and and Benassa are on zero chem. So I thought, hey, if we start first half with Benassa, still really like the cards. And then at halftime, I'll be bringing on Gwenduzi and Enzo and changing up my front line. I just couldn't really deal with that Ramos up front. He wasn't doing as much as I hoped. And I think that was holding me back in my first halves. So Frimpong's come in, Neuer's come in, um, Gvardiol's come in. So has Guerrero and so has Timo Werner as well as Benassa as well. So we basically changed half the team up and I've gone and packed a World Cup team of the tournament in my first pack from Squad Battles Rewards. Thiago Silva, tradable. You love to see it. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm genuinely very happy with that because he's someone that I will instantly sell. I'm feeling pretty short of coins lately, so I'll uh, I'll take the profit from him. Uh, and he's nearly 50,000 coins, so obviously it's pretty cheap. Um, appar apparently, like the whole the whole team of the tournament is really cheap unless you are... One of the like big mega stars that has a, a ridiculously high rated card. So um, everything seems to be a lot cheaper than expected, which is really weird. Maybe the pack weight is super high. I mean, if I'm packing one in the very first pack I've opened during this uh, during this promo, then maybe the the drop weight is just really high. I hope so because I could do with packing these all week long. That'd be very very nice. So we've literally got one. Before we've even finished our, our foot champs, and, and obviously today is still going to be me finishing off foot champs and doing the live rewards for you. So, um, yeah, stick around. Hopefully, when we move it over to live lasty in a bit. I mean, the, the ideal situation would be that we would have 11 wins and uh, we would also get team of the tournaments or whatever in, in packs, in our rewards. That's the dream. So... In order to do that, I need to go four and six. No, six and four even. Um, so a maximum of four losses from today's games, um, which is obviously, that's a more impressive record than what I would have done on Friday because I only went five and five on Friday. So luckily, <coughs> excuse me, we get a 2-0 rage quit in game number one. 
Now we only have to go five and four. So that's how I was basically just working it out in my head. I wasn't really keeping up to what my actual record was. At the moment, it's six and five. Um, but I, every time I was getting a win, I was like, okay, now we need to go this and four, this and four. So uh, yeah. It's essentially how I was working it out, trying to get it into my head that it wasn't going to be as difficult as I thought it was going to be, if you get me. Anyway, I'm 1-0 down at half time, kind of getting battered by um, this Scottish fella who obviously supports Hibernian. Um, but yeah, in the second half, I made a few changes, adjusted a few positions, made some substitutes, and it took me until the 61st minute for Butra Gueno to get me a goal. But not too long after I'd scored... I left him fully open in the box. And I know it's Lionel Messi and he's never, not exactly great with uh, headering, but, um, you know, if you leave him on his own, he's obviously going to score that, isn't he? Uh, but I uh, I did manage to equalise with the GOAT, Alo Iran, just a few minutes later. So it's 3-2, 85th minute. I'm piling on the pressure. And as you can see, Rafael Liao. Oh, I love this card. Do you know how much I would absolutely love to use that other version of him? The one with five-star skills and even better stats. I know he's over a million coins, so it'll never happen, but uh, I, I, I imagine he's one of the best players on the game, that is for sure. So I get a very late 3-2 victory. So now I don't have to go 6-4. and four. I don't have to go 5-4. and four. I now only need to go 4 wins, 4 losses. I can win one, lose one for the rest of my session here, and I'll get 11 wins. All right, and other than that, I just need two more wins if I just want to take the nine wins and dip. But of course, we will try for 11. Next game comes around. I go 1-0 up after a minute. Alawiran ends up getting the uh, the finish from our very first attack. And then a lovely header from Guardiol to get his first goal for the club puts me 2-0 up at half time. Um, in a game where I think I'm sort of doing a little bit better than my opponent. But uh, he was having more possession. We whip one back stick and Liao is there arriving late uh, to, pay, to, to make it 3-0 uh, just eight minutes or so into the second half. Um, so I was really confident at 3-0 and this was obviously like my third game into champs and I'd won all of them so far. So I think I might have got a little bit cocky, a little bit overexcited, overconfident because as you can see here, I sort of fell asleep and he, he, he got back with a couple of goals. So uh, at that point I was like, hey Tom, wake up. You've not done anything yet. He could quite easily get this back to three all or whatever. I eventually scored one more goal and we win 4-2. But uh, that was sort of like the wake-up call because uh, I think I was starting to to go into autopilot mode a little bit. And that's not really what you want to do um, when there are victories to that you need to get. So now I need to only go three and four. We've won our first three games of the day, which is very positive. Absolutely love to see it. The new team is feeling good. Um, I've got to say, having Werner up front instead of Gonzalo Ramos is was very, very useful. Werner on this game, this 86 version, I don't know how much he costs. And he might have risen just a touch because of the Gavardio coming out. But we've got him untradeable. And I rate him. I think he's really, really good. So, uh, as you can see here, 2-0 up at halftime. I made my changes. Butragueno came on. And literally within a minute and 10 FIFA seconds, he had scored a power shot to make it 3-0 to make my opponent quit. So there's four wins in a row. We now need to go two and four. We can lose twice as many times as we win in our next few matches and we'll still get 11 wins. It's looking good. It's looking like we've managed to do what we always do, which is do terrible on a Friday and then save it on a Sunday. Um, so, yeah, I mean, as long as that is the case, then... Uh, We'll be all right. And it's looking good again. We go 1-0 up in, in the very next game after a minute or so with Werner. Um, however, this guy had that um, Dan James, team of the tournament, who is really quick. Um, and or wh whatever Dan James card it is, it might be a Phenom. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what type of card it actually is. But uh, it's, it's good. It's, it's particularly, uh, particularly fast and uh, has a decent finish on him as well. And, of course, he's... Premier League player, I guess. So um, gets those links that people want. And I make it 3-2 just before half time. You know, a little bit of 45th minute cheese for you. But it was Alawiran. He was doing what he always does. So I'm 3-2 up here. Can I win five games in a row on, on foot champs here to, uh, to, to really improve my record? Well, it's looking good because Alawiran scored again. Um, I've then whipped it into him again. He, he scooted past Van Dyke. He's chipped it over the goalkeeper. There's his hat trick. And that's 5-2. And that's the quit. 
So, uh, yeah, lovely stuff. I now need to go one and four if I want to get 11 wins. So I was fairly, and again, I, I got to a point here where I was a little bit overconfident, a little bit over cocky, um, knowing that I could go one and four and I still get it. So uh, actually, I think the next two games I lost. So I won't, there's no point in including them. Um, as you can see, I was at 45 points with five games to go. And that win-loss record down there is completely the opposite. It should be 10 wins, five losses. Uh, so we'll come into the final game that I actually win. Uh, like I said, I lost two in between that one. One to a guy with Mbappe, Inform Neymar and Ginola. And he was doing some crazy skills and stuff. He was obviously a very good player. I quit at 3-2 down against him. Um because I was 1-0 and 2-1 up, but then he just turned on the style and was way better than me. Uh, and then another guy who had the um, the Argentine showdown, what was it, uh, Correa? He scored a hat-trick against me, and I was like, yeah, see you later, buds, uh, because I knew I had games in, in to spare. But I win this one, 1-0, one and he quits when he gets that red card. So there's the 11 wins, ladies and gentlemen. We've, we've done it. Uh, we managed to managed to turn around our weekend league and get the uh, our, our required or... Um, the, 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 the result that we wanted to get, really. So a couple of games to give away. Literally just two games to give away. I give both of them away for wins for my opponents. And that is going to be me achieving our weekend league finish of 11 wins and, well, nine losses in the end, I guess. But in reality, 11 wins and seven losses. Uh, and then with a couple given away. So only thing left to do, really, is to just move it on over to live lasty. We'll open up these three player picks and these three packs, and we'll see what we get dealt from the FIFA gods. Can we pack a second team of the tournament in this episode? And maybe a third and a fourth? Just give me loads of them. I'd absolutely love that. Hey, moving on over to Live Lasty. Good luck with your packs, Tom. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Tom. Let's get stuck into these, shall we? Because I've only got nine minutes until the kickoff of the World Cup final. So uh, I, I definitely want to get this done and move on to, to going and watching that. Obviously, you guys know the result, but uh, I am still awaiting it. So we've got three player picks, not two, but three player picks, 104, 84 plus. Hey, I'd love to get a, a promo card in these or some really high rated fodder. Three, two, one, boom. First player pick is going to be an 89. We'll take an 89 or black. That is um, particularly good fodder. I'll, I'll certainly take that. Um, and then player pick number two. I'm just going to rattle through these. Can we get a promo card? Yes, we can get a 91. Harry Kane. Oh, love that. Three-star skill, five-star weak foot. He's actually got pace. I might even have to give Harry a go, you know. Whack an engine on that or something. Try and make him usable. Oh, you love to see it. Team of the tournament, Harry Kane, in our player pick number two. Can we just get another one? Go on, game. Let's do it. Three, two, one, boom. I've already pressed it. Come on. Oh, we get ourselves an 87 rated Thomas Muller, which again is still all right fodder, to be fair. So, uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. That's excellent stuff. Let's put them into the club. They're untradeable, of course. And let's go ahead and open up the packs, which will all be tradable. Yeah, they'll all be tradable. What's sold here, by the way? It is, oh, oh, the Tiago Silva, the one that we packed earlier, has sold for 48,500 coins. You do like to see that as well. Let's go ahead and open up our rewards. Come on. Five, 83 plus rare gold players pack. Tradable. These have been trash for me since the start. And today it's looking like no different. Brazil CDM from Man United is Casemiro. It's not a terrible one. It's actually a very good one. Because that is going to be worth probably more than what a uh, than what a, a base team of the week pack would be. Anything else in the pack? Some 84s and some 83s. What does a Casemiro go for? Four, 40k? 30 something k? Hey, that's very good. I'm going to sell him on. Uh, and I reckon I'll keep the rest, right? Might as well. This has been a dub of... Uh, this has been a very big, very big dub of a rewards today. Rare players pack... Give us a team of the tournaments. No. Give us a walkout. France. Goalkeeper from AC Milan would take a walkout in Mike Mignan. You know, sometimes the rewards are just with you. They're just on your side. And today is that day for me. Like, he's nothing too special, but he's a team of the tournament. Oh, and another walkout as well. I've seen 50k packs way worse than that. Both of those are getting sold. I need to claim some coins, you know. Let's get rid of these real quick. Because... 
I think the players are going to be walking out real soon. Um, what what are your uh, actually? There's no point asking your World Cup predictions. Uh, I'll I'll just give you mine because uh, I'm the only one here watching this right now that doesn't know the end result. And I'm going to say three one Argentina, a Messi hat trick in the World Cup final. Oh, that would be the stuff of dreams are made of. Ultimate pack. Come on then, let's give it to him. It's a walkout, but it's not a team of the tournament. It's German. Cam, Thomas Muller, welcome to the club. I've already got you, but this one's tradable. So, um, yeah, do you know what? We've had a very good set of Foot Champs rewards. Uh, 84s after that. I'm not too, too fussed about opening these up at the moment, actually. Uh, I'm, I want to see what the other duplicate is. All the way at the end is going to be... Ah, oh, 75. Okay, well, well, we'll sell Thomas Muller. I reckon we're going to make a fairly decent amount of money from this, you know. Let's send all of this to the club, and then we'll have 10. I'll get them done off camera because no one cares about them, do they, uh, at this stage of the game. So, ladies and gentlemen, our foot champions went really well in the end, and uh, we've managed to get ourselves uh, a pretty big dub in that Harry Kane. Does he go into the squad? Well, probably. Probably. He looks all right, you know. Try and fit him in somehow. Don't know how, but... I'm sure there's a way, um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Do me a favor, smash the thumbs up button. I would love to see, hey, let's go for 3,000 likes on this episode for such good rewards. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Cheers. Follow me on social media. My Twitter and Instagram are down below. Have a great day. Take it easy. I'll be back again tomorrow with some more FIFA 23 action for you, and I'll see you then. Peace.